For people in Greenfield, their two-year traffic nightmare is finally over. The new Greenfield Bridge, it's lit up and ready for vehicles tonight. They had a big party to celebrate, and guess what? Amy Wattis was at the party. She's live with more on that. Amy. Good evening, Paul, and I am walking down the sidewalk of the brand new Greenfield Bridge, which officially opened to traffic at 9.30 tonight. Now, folks that live on either side of this bridge have been waiting two years for this day. It was a party on the brand new Greenfield Bridge, complete with a ribbon cutting. Two, one, go! It's been a long time coming, but it's a relief. But not only a relief, it's a pleasure because it turned out to be such a great bridge. There was lots of music, races for the kids, and plenty of food to go around. Even t-shirts saying the bridge is back were hit. We're out of mediums and larges, so we're taking orders for special orders at this point. The old bridge crumbled onto the parkway east almost two years ago. Now, the brand new replacement is five feet wider with a wider sidewalk and bike lanes. <laughs> Jean Niederberger was four when the old bridge was completed. She's 100 years old now. They had a free merry go wow. for the kids. And they used to come out every day and ride the merry go It was nice. Having our wonderful bridge back so we can walk over to Shenley Park. It's resilient, it's strong, and through the reinvestment in it, it guarantees another 100 years of prosperity for this amazing neighborhood. Back out here live on the Greenfield Bridge. The bridge was initially supposed to open tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning, but yet again, traffic has been moving since 9.30 tonight, and folks are certainly enjoying that ride. We are live on the Greenfield Bridge tonight. Amy Wattis, KDKA TV News. All right, Amy, thank you. Now